are three moons in the sky tonight. Three moons? That's slightly unusual, isn't it? More than unusual, slightly. It's something new and different, and I've got to see it! Come on! Three moons. Mm. Oh. What's all the fuss about? Anyone would think we'd never seen three moons and never... <gasps> Solder tin and copper pot tops! Three moons! That means I can have Peter all to myself! Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. What's happening? I've never seen anything There's like it. What is it? Peter! Peter! You know what three full moons mean. No. Yes, you do. Don't you remember? When three moons appear in Neverland skies, a fairy spell can change your size. Peter, now do you remember? I'll cast the spell tonight, then you can visit Fairyland with me. Listen, everyone. How'd you like to visit Fairyland? Yeah! Oh, no. I can't shrink you all. I won't shrink you all. Oh, come on, Tig. Be a sport. It'll be a great adventure. We can all visit Tintagel. What? Tintagel? Tintagel, Michael. It's the capital of Fairyland. Go on. Come on, Tintagel. Come on, Tintagel. Come on, Tintagel. All for one and one for all. And we all go together. Oh, all right. If I have to. Cast the spell. Make us small. Nah, I'm small already. I don't want to be more smaller. I want to play pirates instead. We won't be small forever, Michael. We will return to our proper sizes, won't we? Oh, of course you will. Just as long as I reverse the spell by noon tomorrow. Then there is a danger we might remain fairy-sized forever? What's an adventure without a bit of danger? Come on, Tink, shrink us! Magical fairy, whoever was. <laughs> I am. I am, Peter. I am. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> Michael. He's all right. A bit of danger is all part of the game. Well, I don't like this game much. I want to play pirates. We can play pirates another time. But right now, we have a journey to make. Tink, open the galley trap. What's a gal? A gal? Uh, what you said? A galley trap is a door into Fairyland. It's how we get into the Tantagel. <laughs> What are we waiting for? Whoa! It's the most wonderful thing I've ever seen. It's slightly amazing. It's more than slightly slightly. It's miraculous. Tinkerbell, we haven't seen you since you copper-bottomed our ceremonial silver sabers. And Peter Pan, it's been a long time since our adventures crossed paths. 
Tinkerbell, please introduce your guests. King Oberon, Queen Gloriana, Monarchs of the Bright Realm. May I present the Lost Boys, John, Michael, and uh, Wendy. And what brings you to our city, Peter Pan? We came looking for another kind of adventure. A game, Your Majesty. Oh, well, then we will not disappoint you. Let the game begin. <laughs> Be our guests. <laughs> you want to try it? I'm just stunned by the beauty of it all. Come on, Wendy! This is... Oh, you seem troubled, Tinkerbell. I thought if Peter and I were the same size, but he still pays as much attention to Wendy as he did before. Oh, how I love an affair of the heart. You would like Peter Pan to yourself, hmm? I'd give anything. His attention is wasted on those plodding humans. Well, perhaps we can arrange that for you. But what about Wendy and the others? Oh, we'll just send her and her friends back to wherever they would like to be. All you need care about is Peter. But how can you do that, Your Majesty? You know that King Oberon has a terrible temper. And if Peter's friends were to... but they usually fly better than this. Yuck! This burden! the boy, Your Majesty. His friend's misbehavior is not his fault. And anyway, he was brought up with us. He does not belong with dullard humans. What do you say to that, my boy? I would like to stay here a while longer. There's so much to see. But what about my friends? Oh, they'll be all right. What could possibly happen to them? <laughs> Be the food of love. Ah, play on. Ugh. Gall and brimstone! Though it's made me the most feared pirate in the world, never did I play a sour note before Peter Pan traded my hand for this hook! <laughs> Lost boys the size of bilge rats. Look sharp! Double this is the end of the voyage. Such is a boy! We have him, Captain. Oh, that's odd. I remember him being somewhat larger. 
I don't care how small they are. All I care about is Peter Pan. Tell me how to find him, you shrunken scamps. Well, I don't think that would be possible. Since we went through this portal, and we don't know... I see a degree of persuasion will be necessary. That's it, man. Let's see what kind of fish we catch with these worms. <laughs> oh, Wendy, this is beastly. How shall we ever stop them? With that awful parrot's help. Sure, Tom. Yes, you, I'm talking to you, you ugly, dirty bird. Your feathers are a disgrace and your beak is perfectly filthy. You're an insult to all parrothood. And all in all, you're a worthless specimen and an embarrassment to all of us who can fly. Bugs, bobs, hammer and tongs! Run, children, run! Play that fishing, you worthless lovers! Our prisoners are escaping! Now's our chance! to the dog who captures them! <laughs> What's the joke, Captain? A <laughs> fair humor, Mullins. Those fools have trapped themselves below decks. <laughs> After you find them, bring them to me. <laughs> A pleasant fate awaits them. Come out, come out, wherever you are. We can't hide down here forever. They're certain to find us. Listen. It's the crocodile. It must be right beneath the ship. Shh, let me listen. 11 o'clock. Tink has to work her magic by noon, or we'll be fairy-sized forever. Oh, Peter, where are you? Look, Peter. This is the great armory of Tintagel. Nibs and Curly should see this place. They love it. It's fantastical. On guard, Captain Hook. Touche, Mug. Well, it's no use waiting for Peter Pan. We have to rely on ourselves. But we'll never get past those pirates. Yes, we can, John. But only if we provide the proper distraction. There they are! Seize them! Help! Wendy, I'm stuck! Dogs and hounds, I hate the dark. Much progress. We're still slightly trapped in Hook's cabin of all places. If you'd surrendered ten minutes ago, I might have treated you decently. If you'd surrendered five minutes ago, I might have spared your life. But you have curdled my milk of human kindness. And when I lay this hook on you, I will cleave you all to the brisket! What is it? What's the matter? I don't know. This 
This is a wonderful place, but there's something missing. You forget everything and everyone else. Why can't you forget the Lost Boys and that wretched Wendy? I had forgotten. But now that you come to mention it, that's exactly the problem. Where are they? I don't know. Come on, Tink. You know something I don't, and I demand that you tell me. I won't. Very well, then. We can no longer be friends. Oh, what's the use? They're somewhere out there in Neverland. Well, what are they doing out there? Why aren't they here? Queen Glorion and I made old King Oberon banish them. Why? I wanted to have all your attention for myself. That's impossible, Tink. Now help me find the others. Shan't. Tink! Oh, very well. Now enough wasted time. Where exactly are they? Oh, Peter, can't you remember? I've told you a zillion times. Any mirror in Fairyland can show us that. On the Jolly Roger? Open a galley trap, take and get us there! Hmm. Sometimes the most obvious hiding place is the best hiding place. <gasps> now, after all that scampering about, we're right back where we started. <laughs> As I said before, you tell me where I can find Peter Pan, or I'll feed you to the sharks, you skunks! I can't fight like this, Tink! Well, hold still, then! This is your last chance! Tell me, or... <laughs> Peter Pan? Peter, where have you been? If we don't get back to our normal sizes by noon, we never will. Time. Ah! Another time. Ah! Another time. Ah! 